One of my specialties when I was working at Dun & Bradstreet is that everybody had come up and give me the people that they couldn't find because for some reason I had a knack of finding people, getting inside their head, how they would be thinking and then searching in those places to find them. And it's that kind of thinking, I suppose, that I've always been an investigator. I've always investigated what has been my curiosity to find out what I can about it. And so whatever the subject is, I will investigate it to the best and the fullest of my ability to exhaust every option I know. When I first started working in the business field, most businesses were still doing everything on paper. They were just transitioning to actually having computers. And there was no such thing as a personal computer or programming because these things were way too expensive for the ordinary person. Businesses had them, just started to get them. So I was trained on a manual system and I was introduced at the very foundations of the computer systems as well. So I know how both systems work and how they integrated together to virtually end up as today where it is virtually all online. Like even with your ATSIC searches, uh, your, your forms, there's no paper forms for certain ones anymore. You cannot physically look at a piece of paper that someone filled out it is now done online and being done online is always the risk of someone being able to corrupt the data and that risk is there is let me show you another little thing that um, you can look at so this is nightcap on minjin bull's website the faq page if you've been here before, you know that this links to a PDF and these link to PDFs. I mean, really, as far as a sales promotion goes, they spend a lot of time mitigating all the things raised around the issues that they won't answer to people. And even though they've got these little PDFs down here, um, I've read a transcript, I know what was presented, I know how much was missed out and I also know how much was actually said in, well, especially people's testimony where, oh, I don't remember, or I think so, I believe so, uh, yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot more evidence, not hearsay, evidence and uh, some of these little PDFs are going to get overturned by the time that evidence has been fully presented. But these little PDFs, if you notice when you stick your hand over them, if you can notice in the bottom left hand corner, it brings up a website address with a PDF. So last night I just tried it because wherever you've got where it says wp-content-uploads Wherever there's a part in the address that has something like that or uploads, I take it back to the uploads part to see if it brings me back to um, a directory. The directory that is used on the side that you don't see in the public, but it's part of the functioning of the website. It was this way as how I was able to get over 15,500 pages worth of Edgar Cayce's readings because I was able to go to the directory and it, from the directory access it. If I went one step further back I couldn't access that information. It told me it, 404 forbidden. So you can play with the addresses a bit to see whether something will come up. So as a natural curiosity I bought up that address and this is what it came up with. This is 
exactly what I looked at when I downloaded the Edgar Case things, except uh, when you click on uh, each one, it'll open up into a, another folder. This one's expanded as much as it will go because it's in 2020 in the folder 9, which would be September. And there's the PDFs. These are all the PDFs that are on the FAQ page. The media response, the judgment, the injunctions, the bankruptcy notice, and the FAQs. Well, the FAQ is like a two-page sales pitch. It's not even an FAQ, if you ask me. But <laughs> So getting this to come up on a web page is a rare bonus these days because most sites are so naturally encrypted that you can only bring up the information that is linked from page to page. You can't go back and bring up this. And when I was able to do that, I, I kind of laughed at myself because I'm thinking, these boys are made out. They're such expert pros at hacking computers and tracking down and doing all this tricky stuff that nobody else can do on computers. And the website isn't even, well, I don't know. Would you call this hacking? <laughs> I don't know. But it's information they don't want out in the public arena. Well, you can say, but that is out in the public arena. But yeah, we're only on one part of the directory. This is all of 2020. And if we go up again, you see there's 2016, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now, there's stuff in those other folders. There's PDFs very interesting PDFs. So to save time, I'll find the ones that have got them in there and unpause. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to leave this link um, so that you can click on it, bring it up yourself and have a look. Nothing past, none of these other ones will come up, only the ones that are year files. Because you see, what happens is that you start a website and it creates a container or a folder to contain the information that you upload, whether it be images or documents. It's got other places where it stores the text. They are in usually those um, CSS files or whatever. But um, the actual images that you upload to your website and the PDFs, even if you take off that PDF and replace it with another one, that old upload is still there. Now, I'll just take us back to the 2020 one for a quick sec. This nightcap on Minjimbal Media re Response was uploaded in September, the 18th of September. So you would see that response and think that well, it's the only res media response there is. Um, no, there's actually two other media responses from 2016 to 2020. Another two. And interestingly enough, they are not so much a promotion of what is valid and sellable and legitimate. And it's a counteraction of people that have asked questions, picked flaws, and they're using this method. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's just, I got an interruption. I have no idea where I was on that. Let's uh, get back on track anyway. Let's go back to the parent directory. See, each one of these that's actually got a PDF in there that uh, is the NC pr um, pricing one. Most people have seen that one. And most people have seen the documents. That one's got nothing. Oops, wrong one. As you can see, there is a folder allocated for each month. Now, if you go back to the other years, you'll see that, well, there's not one for every month because I dare say at the end of each year they de they delete every empty 
uh, folder or container as they would use it. See this one contains images and yeah they're not very exciting images they part of what forms your website, your pages, uh, your images for your logo, any other images that you might have in there and here's more images so there's lots of images and you've got to be careful when you're looking at these things because sometimes down through here what I do is I scan for something that says PDF or DOC and uh, as you can see these are all different sized of the same images so it's not all different images these are groups of images with various sizes is that the one I just went on yes it was and as you can see these are all pretty boring and I didn't think I was going to get much when I started doing this but then I found this director's note and a media statement so I downloaded those and scan through there again nothing just images so that was 2016 done so you go through and you do that for every folder that's available and I extracted as much information out of it I'll bring up the next one so back in February 2017 uploaded changes uh, Mount Warning Eco Village all this information there's images and there's Mount Warning Eco Village 10 reasons PDF there's also Mount Warning Eco Village FAQs and there is another FAQs one but that comes from a couple of months down the track so as you can see they've updated all the images that are specific to the uh, village itself all those generic images have now been replaced damn what one was I on two yeah because four is the next one that's right so here th there's just been a replacement of the FAQ that was in April 2017 uh, I haven't checked both PDFs so I don't know what's actually been changed in them I'm pretty sure that yeah there's only images in all of these others scam alert <laughs> or take out a couple of um, layers of the address and end up back in a directory alert <laughs> yeah I'm not going to take you through the rest of those because you can click through all of those yourself anyway so as through a process of doing that see these ones come up blank well that's actually what I said before they got rid of blank folders clearly not because there are blank folders in here um, these ones here are all attached to the testimonials that they uploaded yeah when you have a look at the front page well not the front page of nightcap because if you type in um, the links nightcapvillage.com it will automatically divert I'll show you what I mean this is nightcap village now I wondered why the videos were actually called Re recreating the village that's because that was the name that was top of the website well this image is August 2018 and there were seven captures of it up until May 2019 which I would say is around the time that it changed its name so its captures are now under nightcap on Minjimbal but there are no captures I've already had a look at that so if we take that oops and go to it directly as you can see just as I said that nightcap village will redirect to nightcap on Minjimbal so they're all the same thing and they used to be called 
recreating the village nightcap on Minjimbal. But the website was actually Nightcap Village. And the only way you can bring it up as Nightcap Village is to go back on the Wayback Machine. And you are fairly limited on what you can access, but back in 2018, this was the whole website. There's nothing else that you can click on it. It's all on the front page. And here are the testimonials down the bottom that I talked about. Now I'll leave a link for um, yeah, his rhyme, or I'm sorry if that's how you say your name. They actually had him up as a testimonial. He's trying to get his 200,000 back. It's no wonder they got rid of the testimonials because I don't recognize any of these. So that's Nightcap Village, recreating the village, morphing, in Nightcap on Minjimbal and Nightcap Village everyone either knew it as um, Mount Warning Eco Village or Bulla Bulla and the thing is that it was all the same thing and they were very careful not to say that back you know when they were going to court and everything that oh no we're different places we're not even associated you know it's not all the same people less Darwin because you know we had to set him up to to get rid of him uh, to take the fall so that we could keep going with this little nice little scheme that we've got going here you know it, it's bloody brilliant you keep getting people to invest in a promise that you never deliver on and when they ask, can we have our money back? And saying, well, we've been chasing the promise and all the money spent on chasing it. <laughs> and there's nothing to get back. Well, there's a land asset that has just been realised. And uh, that's an, a subject for another video because uh, the list of creditors that the liquidator has um, revealed, very interesting indeed. Even some names that haven't come up before. That's the guy that's after his 200,000 now. Yeah, well, the image is gone. Anyway, so those images that you saw flashing across the screen there are um, these ones here. They're for the testimonials. So, yeah, I will leave it at that as far as um, exploring it. As I said, I'll leave a link so that you can look in these things yourself. There are more documents in there and the documents that you can bring up, the PDFs, uh, especially these ones back in 2016, when was that? Oh, hang on. Yes, here we are, the director's note and the media statement. It's interesting to read these things to find out back then in 2017 what the perspective was and what they actually felt important was to promote what was going on at Nightcap. Uh, was it legitimate? Are they just selling everything? You know, I mean, most people are not actually going to worry about the detractors because anyone in business always understands You've always got detractors, you can't fight them all. So you just ignore them and you go about your business because the truth will tell the story and you don't need to worry about the detractors. Um, but you do need to worry about the detractors if they're actually getting close to telling the story how it actually is and it's not accurate and you need to shut them down so that other people don't realize that it's not accurate because uh, they've spent a lot of years arguing that they are doing the right thing and that they're above board and honest they're uh, over emphasizing it this director's note, ah, oh, is written by Philip Dixon, and it's done all in capital letters. I mean, seriously, who types a letter all in caps? I see idiots that 
leave comments all in caps. It's like, oh, what, it's supposed to make it more important or valid, is it? And I've read someone else's comment that says, nobody reads anything in all caps. Nobody types anything in all caps. Except someone that actually doesn't know where to put in capitals and not, and is so illiterate that they just put them all in caps just to make sure. You know? Well, according to the transcripts I've read of um, Vox's, uh, they don't think Philip Dixon's the sharpest tool in the shed anyway. And, yeah, he's just kind of like PVL and others. He's just... He knows what's going on, but it, he just thinks that they're not getting used, you know. They use other people. They don't use them. They actually have respect for them. Oh, <laughs> it's like, no. You only hear Philip Dixon, Cherie Stokes, Derek Zillman... The way they talk about you, the way they honestly feel, wow, yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, to finish it off, I'm going to draw your attention to 2018 and January, or 01, and the PDFs that are in there. Now, I don't know why there are two different uh, info kit ones. For all intensive purposes, they look the same. But they are very interesting to read, as is the Mount Burrell commercial offer document. Now, explore the other folders if you want to, too, because there are the Mount Warning Eco Village FAQs and the 10 Reasons. These are all interesting reads. And they are also promotional products that uh, would have been available on the website that people would have gone in and accessed at the time using those assumptions that are put in these documents. And, you know, anybody can type anything on a document. So that's uh, shown you how to look for anything that is associated with that may have WP contents or anything that may have uploads in it. You may be lucky that the site doesn't have um, really big encryption that you can just go back to just take it out like this. It's as simple as doing that. Taking it out of the address bar and clicking enter. There is nothing tricky about it at all. Most of the time these days, it comes up with error. Um, page doesn't exist or forbidden or something like that. Doesn't often come up with this stuff. So when the boys at Nightcap say they've got all these computer gurus that are so tricky with all the computers and that they can hack everything and, you know, do what others can't, wow can't even cover your own website so before they figure out how to cover it <laughs> get in there and get a copy of the PDFs and have a read if you happen to miss them I've got a copy and you can ask me for them and on that note the frequently asked questions that don't include anywhere near enough answers there is too much justification about the the wrongs they have done they focus on justifying no we didn't do that wrong when you're doing the right thing you do not spend all your time saying but I'm doing the right thing I haven't done anything wrong see and you use every argument that you can to prove it through other means not through Look, you know, bugger it. People are going to have their opinion. I can't stop that. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Because everything with me is an open book and above board. Hey, people got questions, they can come and ask me. I'll, I'll even show them the books. How we have got so much transparency. When people ask me questions, I will answer them. I will not call them names and tell them that they've got no right to ask. 
you know it's really not a standard business sell that when your potential customers ask questions to be called all names and then just said well you know who are you to ask um i could be a potential customer oh no you're not going to be a potential customer because with that attitude you're not ever going to get into our village <laughs> of course not i'm not a sheep i'm not going to kiss your bloody ass and worship you no i'm going to tell you what i think of you and you won't like that that'll dent your egos wouldn't it anyway on that note i don't want to make it long i'll say merry christmas and <laughs> catch you next time